Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm sure you read the thumbnail, I have some super duper awesome happy mail that I got from a very, very wonderful woman. She is my new PA friend. <laughs> um, she sent me surprise happy mail. And I want to tell you guys the whole story about it because it's it's kind of funny. Um, okay, so in the little bitty town I live in, right, uh, there's we have a post office, but there's a law that if you live so close to this post office, you can't have a mailbox or uh, like an outside mailbox. You have to have a post office box. So we have to have a post office box. Well, the problem with that is the post office is open until noon. So I work a full-time job every day, so it's kind of hard to get up there at noon, before noon, and uh, and then on the weekend, they're open one hour on Saturday. So if you accidentally oversleep or you forget, you're SOL. <laughs> so um, I, I just happen to be able to get up to the post office and I'm getting, and whenever we do this, I, we will have a bunch of mail because we can't get there every day, right? So, you know, the postmaster, I've known her, I've went to high school with her, and she, she's like, oh, Alana, I got some mail for you, and here you have this package, and she sets this package down in front of me, and it's in, make sure nothing gets shown, it's in, you know, the priority, um, air bubble package, and it's kind of heavy and she sets it down and I'm looking at it and I just stare at it and I'm having this whole thought process while I'm staring at it and you know I'm pro I'm sure I look like a doofus just standing there staring at this but I'm looking at it and in my mind I'm thinking okay Alana calm down don't freak out yet did you order something and you don't remember ordering it because that's happened before or I've ordered something like I've ordered four skeins of yarn and I'll get three and forget that I ordered the fourth and then the fourth will come two weeks later and then I'm like did somebody send me something and then I open it and I'm like oh yeah that's <laughs> I ordered that so I'm as I'm staring at this package I'm like did I order this and not remember? <laughs> and she's like, what's the matter, Alana? She's like, somebody send you something? I'm like, no, I probably ordered something and forgot about it. I'll open it at home and be like, oh yeah. But, uh, so I took the mail and I came home and I instantly opened it and I am just like, I didn't order this. Somebody sent this to me. And I was so excited. I took it all out and I set it all nice and pretty and took a picture and sent it to my husband. And I was like, honey, look, <laughs> I got happy mail and it's awesome. I got teary eyed. I was so excited opening this, but she did send me a letter and I'm going to keep or a card, I should say. And I'm going to keep that between us. That, that was all. I loved that. That was awesome. So I thought I am going to go through all of this with you guys and show you everything that she was so gracious to send me. And trust me, it's gonna, it's in the good hands because I am gonna take care of this. I am gonna love these. Oh yes. <laughs> so I thought let's do an impromptu flip through. So the first thing is this little crochet quick and easy quick and easy crochet. Oh, for Pete's sake. Anyway, she sent me this. Oh, I'm going to cover that. I love that top. So I'm just going to flip through. The first thing I see is I'm going to, I'm going to cover his fancy bits. This is a baby. And it actually shows his bottom. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that afghan. It says, even though the weather is warming up, we love to make afghans year round. Yep, yep. So let's start off this issue with a terrific trio of crocheted blankets for your home. What is more welcoming than a lovely handcrafted afghan draped over a comfortable sofa? 
when a theatrical set designer wants a scene to evoke the ambiance of heart of hearth and home a crocheted afghan is nearly mandatory but let's hope that the set designer uses his or her imagination and comes up with an, an afghan that's a step above the usual granny square or ripple afghan there ain't nothing wrong with a granny square or a ripple afghan or a chevron <laughs> or waves made from leftovers of mismatched yarns that we sometimes see on television sitcoms for disconcerting crocheters the th the three afghans we show here and on the next two pages demonstrate a beautiful blending of color and texture that's tasteful and decidedly upscale. First of all, we have the Starburst Afghan made with Lion Brand Jiffy Yarn, pretty shades of peach and mint highlight an unusual motif. Luxuriant tassels add an elegant finishing touch. Pretty shades of peach and mint. I, oh, I can see. See the darker squares? Here, 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 here. I didn't realize that was mint. I, I just, I didn't even notice it. Okay. So then we have this pretty set. For the younger set, brilliant colors in popular shocking shades and a bold pattern stitch sparkle on the neon afghan made with Red Heart Classic. Victoria. All oh, the little seals crocheted too. It looks like that might be puff stitches, or maybe even no, that's not that's not popcorns. If it's puffs, look in that blue square. You can see the little puffs. This one is pretty. It says. A little girl's dream of pastel and lace is realized in the charming Victorian heart blanket, crocheted in Lion Brand Jamie. Hmm. That is really pretty. Look at the border on it. Make sure I'm showing it to you. Oh, I didn't even notice it had a little one in the corner, a little heart in the corner. My stomach just growled. <laughs> That's so cool. Letter from the editor. That looks like Banner White. It is. Dang, she was young there. Okay, so we have a pattern can't show that classifieds pattern pattern oh there's a pattern for that baby seal pattern 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 What is this? Crocheted lace. Continued from page 43. Oh, I'm going to have to read this when I get to it. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty. I love that purple and yellow. Oh, look at these. That's a cute top. And then this one. Ooh, 
look at these. I love the neckline on this one. If you guys can hear that sound, it's my ceiling fan. It's kind of warm today. Okay, so I love this. Love, love that. Not so big on this one. I mean, I like the shape of it as far as the color work in it. Uh, I think it would be cooler if you just left it solid blue with the, the bottom, the sleeve, and the collar. Very, very pretty. Oh. Time for the nursery set to slip into summer. When we crochet for kids, we like the pattern to be especially quick and easy because the little stinkers grow so darn fast. Here are two children's fashions that won't set you back too much time-wise. Print rompers made with Lion Brand Jamie print with a pretty color print yarn like this. Even single crochet takes on new interests. And then little girl's dress, a very basic pattern dressed up with a pretty scalloped edging. Additional length can be worked on bottom edge as the child grows. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. There's the little romper set. I love how they stuffed it with the tissue paper to give it that shape. That's cute. That's a good idea. That's a good uh, idea that the photographer did. And then look at this one. Look at her. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. So this, okay. So this is like, I don't know what this is. Like, I, I think it's some kind of maybe like a story thing about lay, about doilies and lace. I think I can read. I like how they put that on the pillow. That's pretty cool. I think it's okay if I read this. Um, all right. It says, it has been a year since Quick and Easy Crochet began this series on crocheted lace. The idea was to inter introduce designs, pass along the tricks of fine lace making, and encourage more people to develop skills in, the, in this ancient craft. While the first article concentrated on the beginner, this, the last, focuses on a more complex style, ironwork lace. Don't let th these more complicated structures scare you. If you have worked several crocheted lace designs and are comfortable with fine threads and small hooks, you can work these patterns. They are, however, not recommended for the beginner. I'm not sure when I first learned about this style of crochet called ironwork lace. Over the years, I've seen the name only three or continued on page 31. Three or four times. Let me make sure I'm not showing anything I shouldn't be. Three or four times. But because of the close resemblance to 19th century iron balconies, especially those in New Orleans, if you've ever been to New Orleans, wow. The, um, so like up at the top where they have the iron like balcony, the, the intricate detail in that iron work is beautiful. I've, we went there two, three years ago. Oh, it was, it was fun and it was pretty. Um, uh, but because of the close resemblance to the 19th century ironwork balconies, especially those in New Orleans, the name fits perfectly. In fact, if you were to make these patterns in black crochet thread and then hang them in a window, they might be mistaken for a decorative iron. A decorative iron. I said that weird. That's, that is so interesting. I, I, whoever would have thought of that? Um, ironwork lace tends to be quite elegant. While some crochet lace laces fit equally well in both country traditional and formal settings, ironwork is better suited to the latter. 
For example, a tablecloth made of these motifs would be for your best china and silver. Also, in most cases, this style usually works better in finer threads such as 10, 20, 30, or even finer. So I know the different sizes in crochet thread and um, I've worked with 10, 20, and 30. I've never seen any of the other sizes. I mean, three, oh, excuse me, size three. Um, I think I've seen size five at Hobby Lobby, maybe a size eight at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sh not 100% sure, but um, for this issue though, we did recalculate one old pattern, Mayfair tradition with a number five thread. See the doily, each motif is about five inches square. The same pattern is also shown in number 10 thread on the blue pillow where each motif measures about three and a half square. If you have not crocheted ironwork lace before, begin with the number five project. When approaching a new style, work the first project in thread where you can see what you are doing. The third project shown in is a redesigned old pattern called New Orleans worked in DMC's Celibia number 10. I've seen that before. Um, DMC is kind of, I know it better for uh, uh, embroidery floss. Um, that here's the word. I don't, I don't know if I said it right, but right there, the DMC Celebia. I've heard, I've seen that before. I don't think I have any, but I've seen it. Um, blah, blah, da, 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 worked in DMC. The Mayfair tradition number five motif will work well for pillow covers or placemats. The two motifs on number 10 thread of number 10 thread could also be used for those projects, plus tablecloths or bedspreads. For edging a, on a towel or pillowcase, work the motifs in one continuous strip in the desired length. When crocheting ironwork motifs, when crocheting ironwork motifs, all rounds develop much the same as any other motif until the last round. The last round of the instructions will be unusually, unusually long. On this round, you will be continually turning to work back and forth over the same small group of stitches. The last round is completed one small section at a time. Look closely at the photograph on the Mayfair tradition pattern. Okay, so I mean that it's basically just tell you what you should do and how to how to block and so the where did that go? Okay. So yeah, here's the different motifs that it's talking about. See the difference in them? I don't know if there's a difference between these two. I can't tell. But I can tell the, you know, the difference in that one. And I like the kitty. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep going cuz this is going to be a long video. I like the the doily. That's pretty. That's a pillow. A rose petal pillow. This is a cute set. Holy cow. Here, oh, here's the instructions for the motifs, okay. Here is a little tote. Uh, pattern, pattern, pattern. All right, I think that is it. So it has a crochet marketplace. I think this is just where you can order these patterns, but man, look at some of these. That's pretty. Dang. 
that would make a very pretty shawl, and I bet it would be very heavy too. Okay, so that's it for this one. This one is dated May, June of 92. See right there? 1992. Here's this one. <laughs> I thought this was cute. This has some adorable amigurumis in it. And not only are the amigurumis adorable, the pictures are too cute. <laughs> all right so i'm just going to show you the animals so this is boy and girl elephants see him jumping on a trampoline sebastian le hamster <laughs> He's adorable. Oh, geez. Uh, funky, spunky monkey and pretty little kitty. It's the monkey. And then there's the kitty. Panda bear keychains. The real Mr. Funky. A hare and a bear. Here's the rabbit. <laughs> Here's the bear driving his car. Bunny in a dress. Snazzy striped snake. He's cute. And I love that he's thinking of fruit. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> All right, we have on-the-go water bottle carrier, and I thought this was genius. Is that not adorable? Could you imagine, especially now, like our grade schools and elementary schools around here, kids can take their water bottles to school so they don't have to all drink out of that water fountain. I should make this for my niece. She would just be the coolest kid ever walking around with that hanging on her hip. <laughs> Okay, so now we have Mr. Funky's super cool accessories. And the hat. It's a pretty hat. Oh, uh, B O U L B O U C L E. Bulge. Bulkily. I don't know how to pronounce that. Skull cap with glitter edge. I think that's a hippo. Maybe. I don't know. But that's a pretty hat. Oh! Lion brand, lion... Bocle? Is that how you say that? Bocle? I that's what I that's the yarn it uses. So maybe that's why it's called that. Okay, here's a sport hat with the trim. Spring chicks and baby bunnies corsage. Oh. Lazy Days Easy Hat. <laughs> y 
your f favorite you flower bag. My stomach is just all kinds of growling. Green Tones Flower Scarf. Look at that fancy bear. Martini. Luscious Blues Flower Scarf. Puff, puffy flower scarf. The writing is a little hard to read on these. This is cute, but there, see how <laughs> it gets a little hard to read. Flower hat and scarf set. That's cute. Oh, look at this. He's got a fish. Disco glitter hat. This looks like something I may have designed something similar to. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I think I have a tutorial for something that looks really similar to that. We got snowball fight mittens. Romantic mohair hat. That is really pretty. And matching mother and daughter hats. Aww. That's made using Lion Brand landscapes. All right, now we have a scarf hoodie. That's pretty. And we have a striped hat, scarf, and wristband set. There's a lot of patterns in this little book. Geometric earrings. <laughs> Those are really pretty. See a little pearl in the middle of them. And that's it. That's all the patterns in this in this one. I was gonna look for a a year this was made, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see a year. Oh, 2007. There we go. Mr. Funky Super Crochet Wonderful. <laughs> There's that one. I may have to make this two parts. This is gonna take a while. Do you guys like my tumbler? It says, I crochet because punching people is frowned upon. <laughs> okay, so this is toys to crochet. So let's see. This is 2007. Contains patterns for dolls. So we have a basic little bear. I like his little face. A basic doll. Trying to hold it to where you don't see the pattern. A 
I don't know what that sound was. Then you have clothes for your dolls. It's a pair of pants. You have a little hat. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. And then you have swim clothes. <laughs> Got some squiggly arms. Look at him. It's the way he's standing. <laughs> it's like he says, hey girl. <laughs> we have princess. My niece would love these. Mermaid. Now we go into the animal kingdom. We have a shark. Kangaroo bag with a joey. Jenna the giraffe. Mama duck and pom pom chick. So the little chick is just a pom pom. Larry the lobster. Sir Waldor Waldorf the walrus. <laughs> Mickey the Marmoset. Coco the Koala. I love that she's hanging on a doorknob. Then we're at the barnyard and you get finger puppets. A witch, an owl, a wizard and a walrus calf. <laughs> Cute as that. Uh, so there's little building blocks. little van in a car. There you go. A mama horse and a foal. And I think the mama horse is a hand puppet. Planets and rockets. Mobile. Aww. That's adorable. I like the little fire underneath the rocket. <sighs> oh. It's a little pig and piglet. And then the last one is a cow and a calf. And I find it super funny they're drinking milk. Cows don't drink milk, cows drink water. 
That's cute. So that's that book. Now we have this one from 1984, Women's Circle Crochet, uh, Christmas Book. I'm gonna cover up the name written at the top. This is cute. The, uh, the front and the back came off, but I'm gonna keep them nice and neat so they don't get ruined. So we have, so this is going to be um, not in color, so it's going to be in black and white, but then it has a page or two showing everything in color. Okay, so we have, I think I should just show you the ones that are in color because the ones that aren't in color aren't that, It's they're kind of hard to see. So if I can just find the color page la, 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 la. Well, where's it at oh here we go so the crochet patterns in here these are called Christmas sprites these little guys and then it has this stocking then it has this little elf. I love him. And then she is uh, fabric, so she's sewn. But he's adorable. Um. Oh, it doesn't show a page. darn it. Oh, here we go. These are little ornaments. Aren't those cute? See the pipe cleaner for his beard and his hat? I think that's adorable. But the rest of the things in this magazine are uh, sewn. And cross stitch and that's it okay so I'm gonna go put this one so it doesn't get mess messed up okay what are we at almost 40 holy cow I still have several more to go through <laughs> so I may oh I could make this how about we do one more and then we'll call it for part one and then we'll have more parts because there's a lot I can show you guys. Um, I may make this. May, uh, anyway, okay, so this is a magazine that looks more recent. Does she not look amazing in that sweater? Very, very pretty. So I am going to get to, here we go. Look at these cover ups. I don't know what is going on outside. Anyway, um, <laughs> These are cute. Those are adorable. So the patterns in this are these little pillows and then a camera pencil case. Oh wow, look at that bag. 
That's pretty. Oh, look at that. That is really, is that, is that called Apache Tears, I think, maybe? Look at that rug. Patterns. Here is a wall hanging, I believe. It's actually around an embroidery hoop. Okay. It just adds. Oh, this girl is so pretty in this color. Bobble jumper. Oh, look at the back of it. The back is just like the front. It's very pretty. I love that green. Oh! <laughs> How cute is that? It says, utterly in love. Does Amigurumi get much cuter than this? Crochet, uh, Elaria, Kaleri, Doting, Otter Darlings. It says, confession time. We're a little obsessed with these otters here in the Simply Crochet office, and it's not solely due to a certain Mr. Cumberbatch. What does Benedict Cumberbatch have to do with otters? I don't know. Did you know that pairs or groups of otters hold hands or paws so they don't float away from each other while they sleep? It's called rafting. We looked it up. They're pretty much the original romantics. What could be a better Valentine gift for your sweetheart than, than a pair of loved up Amigurumi otters? Utterly, utterly adorable. That is too stinking cute. They hold hands so they don't float away. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> They're cute. Quirky crochet creatures. Is that a book? Why am I thinking that's a book? It's a pattern for a really neat scarf. I like the colors. Pink, white, and tan. Now this is one thing I don't think I could ever pull off. I don't think I can pull off a collar like that. It would bug me, I'd, I'd get annoyed with it. I don't think I could do that. Not saying that it's not pretty, I just don't, I just couldn't pull it off. Look at this. Are you kidding? This is pretty. Let me. And look, they have uh, little uh, leg warmers. That's Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. The colored yarn is. That is so pretty. I love that. Very, very eye-catching. It was a pretty shawl.
Ooh, I like these little motifs. Overall winner. <laughs> Those are cute. Uh, so much of it is like ads and stuff. Okay, here's a really pretty throw. See the cable and posts. Showing yarn, showing how to work the stitches. Here is a really pretty cabled headband. Very pretty, I like that. Okay, and the rest of, oh, nope, there's more. Diamond shine, diamond shine. Oh, so it's just a motif. They're showing you how to make a little motif. Ah, and then she shows a little baby dragon. Isn't he cute? Aw. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it here for a part one because we still have one, two, three, wait a minute, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more to go through. I'm telling you guys, she went wow on these. So my PA friend, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That just, that made my day when I saw that and I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm going to break this up into, it's probably going to be more than two. Like probably, well, I don't know. I think I could do it in two. We'll see. Thank you guys so very much for watching. You guys are all the greatest. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what's next. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of everything I showed today. And check out the description box. I'm going to have links to everything and eventually I will have links to the part two and the part three and then if, there, if there's a part four and so on and so on. Okay. So thank you to each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.